Is it playing? It's, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, hey, everybody. Um, welcome back to another episode of Triple P and J. You didn't see shit. Um, Clearly, you didn't either. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> y'all haven't done so already. I would hope so after... 80 something episodes. You have to you have to know that we have new people that watch it too sometimes. So if you're new to the channel. Well, they should have watched all. So some, if you're new to the channel. 80. So if, if you're, you're new, new to, to the, the channel, channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe our show. Uh, if you haven't done so already, also hit the notification bell at the top. So whenever we drop some new content, you're definitely getting those new videos. We try to shoot every Sunday and put out content on Mondays. Uh, so other than that, yeah, if you are audio content followers, don't forget to um, download our streaming content on any streaming platform like iHeartRadio, Spotify, uh, whatever. All of them. Yeah. The All thing. the major podcast platforms. Yep. However you listen to it, whatever makes your bells whistle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, all of that good shit. Yeah. So how are y'all doing today? Cool. <laughs> So <laughs> they said they was doing good. Yeah, so it's, it's been an interesting day. Um, What's been interesting about it? It's just been a lot going on. Really, with like the what? world around us. Like what? Things. What's, elaborate. I, I'm sure they would like to know. I don't think I can tell they. Why? Because they don't need to know. Need yet. to know what? They don't need to know yet. Yet about what? That. Um, We're taking off. We actually got a major role production going on. We're creating um, some new music in the studio. So look forward to our we've new been, album. We've been yeah. pinned to the paper. We have... Um, actually, no, we haven't. We're just going to go in the studio and just say some shit. Just say, like, some, like some of y'all favorite just, artists do. Yep, just say, just say, say some shit on a beat. And as long as the beat goes hard. Right. Now, I feel like the, we should now get if the beat go, if the beat don't go hard and the song don't go hard, then I mean, that's just trash. You think Metro Boomin? Uh, who? Metro Boomin? You think they're gonna uh, make a beat for us? Yeah, I feel like we can make our own beat actually. Oh, yeah, we just gotta put a lot of like trap, a lot of trap bass. Yeah, like the some, gun. Yeah, some snare, the guns. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then and then just say shit. Mm-hmm. And y'all gotta feel it. Yeah. Y'all, y'all be feeling everything else, so y'all gotta feel what the fuck we be saying. Fuck y'all if y'all don't. <laughs> <laughs> nah, just kidding. But anywho, um, yeah, so we're gonna be talking about uh, a little bit of some Hollywood drama. I guess that's what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, because we know y'all love to talk we're about the Hollywood drama. drama. Yeah. So recently. They seem to have something going on. They are. These celebrities always got some shit going on. Like I, I'm almost scared to take off with this and the acting because I, I just feel like it's always gonna be some bullshit that pop up. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> but anyway, so today we're gonna be talking about uh, the drama between Kiki Palmer and her baby daddy, Darius, Darius, Darius somebody. Yeah. Um. So anyway, so this all started back with, uh, I think it was a concert that she went to of Usher's right after she had the baby, as y'all may know, if y'all follow her, she had a baby by Darius not too long ago, so after she had the baby, she went to this Usher concert, and I guess Darius wasn't approving of the outfit that she wore, because he commented on it, and oh, oh. on a public platform, oh. when they're in a relationship, oh, okay. commented on this post on a public platform, and was like, Oh, wow, that outfit, though, you're a mom. Okay, so then after that, I guess they kind of really weren't on good terms or they broke up or something because there was all these cryptic posts on social media, like, you know, most toxic people do. Mm -hmm. So then after that, fast forward, um, Kiki Palmer then files for um, custody, sole custody of their child, and... Then, like a day or two later, it comes out, uh, I guess they had cameras in the house, but it wasn't like the full video, but it was just like the snapshot of him physically abusing her. Dang. Yeah. Um, and I guess she got granted the... She, she put the cameras up? 
Out of secrecy? I don't know. I feel like a lot of people have cameras in their home. Just, so I just for yeah, you know, just, security. Yeah, just for I mean, security. Yeah, they got money, so I'm sure they would have something. Yeah, so um, that was leaked or whatever or put out. And then she, I, I think it said she was granted full custody or sole custody or whatever. So um, then her mom went on social media and made a live video and said she don't normally do this, but... Darius's brother, I guess, allegedly had um, stated that he knew that he was abusive and he used to be like that in the past, blah, blah, blah. So my whole thing with this, why, why, why do people always want to take their issues to social media? I feel like people just just be in their head. Mm hmm. Especially like if especially if you come off like that, I look you feel like he kinda gives me this is just my opinion. I don't know, he could be a great person. Um he getting gives off like uh Fuck boy. I was gonna say like narcissistic oh, energy. Who? Narcissist and oh, fuck boys. Yeah. They're they cousins. following the same umbrella shit. Yeah, maybe uh first cousins. Yeah. But he be like the type of fucking gaslight you on some shit. And then be mad because... Because you done caught on to caught it. on to it, yeah. So, you're mad because she's a grown woman and decided to wear what she wanted to wear. And, and the outfit wasn't really that bad, in my opinion. It wasn't bad at all. Yeah, but who are you to tell her how she needs to dress? Right. And saying because she's a mom now. My whole thing is, why would you comment on the post and y'all are in a relationship if you had an issue with... I don't agree with him having an issue with what she had on, but... They were there. Are they married? No, they were like boyfriend and girlfriend. Oh, and they had a kid. kid Yeah. So, my whole thing is, if you had an issue with um, what she was wearing at the concert... Do you have a picture? I'm pulling it up now. I'm trying to talk in text at the same time. It's kind of hard. But, um... I keep misspelling shit. (laughs) But, (laughs) But, um... Okay. <laughs> but if you had a problem with what she was wearing at the concert, why not wait till you get, did she get home to, to like address it. address it instead of publicly doing it like that? Yeah, because you didn't see the, you didn't see what she was wearing beforehand? Should I guess not? Oh, well maybe if you was, you know, busy being a better man, you would, you know what I'm saying, probably would have seen her beforehand. I don't know. I can't. This is what she had on. I can't black. really say too much. Um, which one? In the black. Mm-hmm. There's a lot going on back there. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Um, go ahead, Kiki. Do your thing. You wasn't. You wasn't in no wrong. At the end of the day, I feel like she's not out there hoeing around. She ain't doing. I mean, I don't know. Yes or no? But she's. I just feel like I've never heard of her name in some bullshit until this. Right. That's why I'm always, and we say this on this show, like a. Plenty amount of times, or a good amount of times, be careful who you lay down and make the baby with, because it seems like always after the baby gets involved, or y'all been together for a minute, then you really learn who this person is, and since he allegedly putting hands on her, and you're telling how long that's been happening. Yeah, you sound like you're a controlling, narcissistic asshole, and you're insecure with yourself. You're insecure that she's out there dressed in how she feels. If she looks good and she wants to, to, to feel herself, then dress dress like that. Yeah, and Kiki Palmer always been fine. So you knew who right who you was dealing with, who you got in a relationship with when you got right. in a relationship. That's how these dudes be. They be they be getting with these bad women. Let me just know. Actually, let me just say these beautiful women and they want to cage them up, bottle them up. Y'all want to y'all wanna have these women to yourselves. You want them to start dressing modest and doing all this other stuff. Okay, but if she's bad, then she's going to continue to be bad and let her be bad. Let her be a, a mom and be bad. Yeah. Don't I, Beyonce got kids? Yeah, you see, she's still on stage doing her doing thing. Doing her thing, yeah. She be up with hardly anything on. So I just really think it's a him problem. I don't really, um, I think that's his own insecurity. Shit, but you never know. The people, nine times out of ten, 
the people in the relationship that normally has a problem with what somebody else is doing, like maybe accusing them of doing something with someone else, Usually they're norm- they're, they're the normally the ones that yeah. has cheating and shit going on. Yeah, they're the problems. Yeah, absolutely. Because they it's that uh, you feel guilty. Conscience. You yep. feel guilty, so now you're projecting what you're really doing on that person. Oh damn, you sound hurt. Hurt as fuck. Hurt boo and ugly. Mm. Yeah, I feel like Kiki could have. Uh, I think Kiki could have <laughs> pulled... did a lot better. She could have pulled something a bit better. No things, but Kiki, yeah. but you could have did better than that. The baby's cute though. The baby is cute. Yeah, yeah. Good on them kids. Yeah. So how would you feel if you had a um, significant other or dating somebody or whatever we call it nowadays, and you posted what these young folks call a thirst trap? on social media how would you feel if your significant other commented on it something degrading instead of confronting you face to face about it like if I had posted something yeah well I'm I'm older now so I'm not gonna put my significant other in a position to feel embarrassed but you know some people could say the workout videos Oh, it is like thirst trap. Yeah. Cause I mean, show skin. So, if they felt some type of way about that type of content, and they decided to call you out about it on social media, how would you react to that? That'd be mad as fuck. I don't know how I'd react. I don't know if I would just be like, I. To be honest, if I was in that position of, um. How do you say it? Like being a, a celebrity, mm-hmm. you know, where I have there's a fan base and there's just people that know my name and know me. Um, I don't know how I would take it, but at the same time, I probably would try my best not knowing what I know now. Try not to blow up on social media because I've never really been that type of person to do that. Anyways, even in my mm-hmm. younger years, I've been blowed up on social media before by my by my ex yeah like she was trying to do all this shit on the own social media saying da 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 you did this you did that but i'm like okay well and then you know you got all these people that could give a fuck about us that want to co-sign yeah that want to co-sign and laugh at her about some shit but y'all don't know what's going on so me personally i leave that shit alone i don't care because at the end of the day, we're just going to talk about it in person. And if we fight and argue about it, we're going to argue about it in person. Yeah, I feel the same way. Like, I I wouldn't call you out on social media. And I would expect you to not call me out on social media. Especially, bitch, if we're going to be in the same bed tonight, why the fuck you don't have this damn conversation with me at home? Right. So, I probably... Because I, at the end of the day, I'm probably going to pop off on your ass and call you a bitch because you're looking for validation outside of what me and you could uh, could have talked about. Yeah. I, um... I don't know. You try to blow me up on social media. I... I don't really have patience for that nowadays because I know that I wouldn't blow you up like that on social media. Mm-hmm. Now, sharing a meme or something that could relate to any fucking situation or your situation, my situation, whoever else, that doesn't make a difference to me. But actually commenting on my damn post and trying to call me out, that would be a problem. But that was the only picture, too? It was, it was a picture... Like, from the front, and then, of course, down from the back. And then I think it was, like, a video. Maybe she was dancing or something. But from what I saw, because that came out, like, a couple months ago. From what I saw, it wasn't anything, like, incriminating. So, from what I took from it, I took from it that he was sitting at home, bored, and saw her on social media, living her best life. <laughs> which she my best life. Which she probably got paid for that appearance. You just never know. Yeah. So, while she's at... Why she's out there actually making money, you're at home miserable, mm. finding reasons to come for her. And then not to mention, allegedly putting your hands on her. I had saw this one post on social media when that first happened, and they had compared um, what she looked like in Aquila and the Bee, like her first movie back in the day, yeah. the glasses, the braids, and all of that, compared to what she looked like now. And it had said something like, Darius thought he was getting this person, but then actually got this person, <laughs> and now he don't like it. But that was years ago, so you already knew she blew up, glowed, 
Yeah. Glow up. Glue, is it glue? Glow it up. Glow it up. Yeah. It, glue sounds better. You don't glue up. You glowed. Gl- she, okay, she glowed up. Yeah, glow. It's like glowing, but you glowed up. That just, glowed sounds, up. That just sounds so literary. But she glowed up. Yeah, English is an I- interesting language. Glued just sounds so better. No, like, it if someone, you don't if up. someone flew. How do you glue, Curtis? You don't glue. Well, how do you glow? You glow. Like the lights glow throughout the night. It's a past tense. But how do you glow up? If it's, it's glow, ED, that's past tense. But technically, and you're technically glowing right now. Yeah, how but it's that? like a it's a past tense, but it's still a process. It's the process of it glowed up. Okay, she's still glowing up. I just say that. Yeah, the she same, had, the same she, thing about when somebody had, glowed up. She had like if they a, got big she had and a they glow blew up. up. <laughs> what? They blew up. Who blew up? Because some people say blowed up. You can you blowed it up. You maybe I just up. don't. Maybe I just don't use you, that terminology. Yeah, you don't say glued up. You know, I, I think about glued that. up. It's glowed. You glowed up. Maybe we both wrong. Maybe so, we both stupid. So, <laughs> so if somebody was skinny and they got fat, they blowed up. They blew up. So why can't they glue up? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like I said. It's the English language. Well, the English language is fucked up because I just feel like because if you I have, feel like I'm if not, you have, I feel like I'm not wrong. Root, as in root, R O O T. You say root, but if you have F O O T, you have foot. <laughs> it's, it's, the, it's the same thing, right? You change one letter, but it's a whole different saying. I, <laughs> okay, that's not what we're talking about. Yes, it is. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. We're talking about flu, flu. What's the other word? Blue, blue blued, <laughs> blow. blew up, blued up. <laughs> anyway, the fuck is that? she had a glow up, and he don't like the shit. Ooh, oh man, yeah. I mean, you was liking it when you was putting the baby in her. Mm. Oh, okay. We ain't gonna talk about that. No. Well, you I never want to talk about. Were you about to say something? No, I have nothing to say at that point. Oh. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like um How long were they together? Oh, I don't know. I ain't learned about him until she had the baby. I didn't even know she had a uh, boyfriend. Mm. But that goes to show mm. everybody doesn't like their personal life being out there in public. Yeah, that's valid. Like I don't feel like you have to confirm who you're dating if you don't want to. I feel like that comes with problems. And his brother said that he wasn't a problem or it's just that it wasn't a problem because he's always been like that. So allegedly, according to Kiki Palmer's mom, the brother had told her that he knew that Darius was abusive and he used to be like that as well. So apparently he was posting something on Twitter and then Kiki Palmer's mom called him out about it and then he denied saying all of that. He was like, why would I call my brother out on being abusive? Uh, so basically you knew what it was, but you're not trying to incriminate him? Right. I mean, I get it, it's your brother, but damn, right is right, wrong is wrong. Hmm. And then this is in the public. Yeah. Because I would have my... He said, he said that he used to be like that. I would have my siblings back till the wheels fall off. However... I would have never put myself in a situation to say anything at all. I just would have shut the fuck up. Facts. But if you fucking up, you fucking up, and I'm going to say something. Yeah, I might not do it publicly, but I'm going to tell you. Yeah, but I'm yeah. not going to go on social media and call anyone out of that and then try Ooh, to backtrack. Who's asking him these damn questions? I don't know. Probably, like TMZ probably TMZ. these bloggers, Team Z, The Shade Room, mm, yeah. everybody that we be getting these topics from. Probably them. Um, because at that point, if y'all, if they interviewing me and you willingly give all that information up, do you really care about your brother? I feel like some of these celebrities, I don't even know you if they're... like a sellout. I don't even know if Darius and his brother, what they do, or if they're like Type. celebrities too, but... Uh-huh. Uh, I just feel like some of these people that do interviews, they need media training before 
they go to the interview. Like, you know, some people, they have their whole team with them while they're doing the interview. And then your team kind of, because I know behind the scenes shit, your team kind of looks at you and, you know, be like, fuck up if you're saying something wrong, like behind the camera. Mm -hmm. But some of y'all just be going out and just saying any damn thing and then be mad when you get the backlash for it. Everything doesn't have to be publicized. Mm. That's just my opinion, though. Yeah. That's wild. Well, Kiki, you um, you deserve better. Definitely don't deserve no man beating on you and blasting you and shit. Right, you too beautiful for all of that. Right. You could have hit my line. I would have fought him. Yeah, he'd paw his ass up. Maybe he would have hit me back. That would have been a challenge. Oh my god. And I'd be there with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> There's always that one friend. Ain't no okay, no camera. Ain't no camera for you. Uh oh. <laughs> Get that type of stuff on camera anymore. You gotta post it. Oh. Yeah, just watch it. Just it's put it on the TV and watch. Yeah. Like, remember that time? Yeah, I remember I beat Darius ass. I remember that. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, anywho. Um On the better days. So so yeah, I mean that's that's a lot going on with Kiki, but um, I was hearing something. I don't know. I kind of want to change it up a little bit because I was kind of hearing something about the whole. Um, since we're speaking about publicity mm -hmm. with the uh, writer strike that's going on. <clears throat> so what's what's that about? Choose my words wisely mm. because. There's just certain things that actors can't really speak on. Mm. So, <clears throat> anyway, it's, um, it was, to summarize it up, it was the SAG, um, the SAG, they were having a, um, writer's strike. SAG is, it's a, um, Screen Actors Guild, that's what it means. It's mm. a, um, pretty much like a union you're in. So, when you've been in certain types of films and movie or films and TV shows and their SAG that qualifies you for SAG. So then you get um, pretty much like inducted into this family. Mm -hmm. So apparently there was, allegedly there was um, like they weren't being paid fairly or whatever. So the writers went on strike to pretty much get better compensation for the actors. I feel like this strike, and I might be wrong, drop down in the comments, I'm not ignorant, just didn't do full research on this topic because I'm not a part of SAG, I'm not even in the union yet. So I didn't really care too much to research it, but you can't help what you see on social media. But pretty much they went on strike and they were trying to get better compensation for some of the actors because they felt like they weren't getting paid fairly. Mm -hmm. Which, if you've been on set, Filming for hours, you know how irritating that could be to be not paid fair to be on set doing the same shit all day. Like that scene I was in for that uh, the movie, it literally you saw that clip was like two minutes at the most. Mm -hmm. You know how long it took to film that? It took us eight hours. To film that, Dang, maybe crazy. maybe six, maybe eight to a, 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 stretch. a stretch, but it definitely but took, it, that took a considerable amount of time. It definitely took more than three hours to do. You gotta factor in before you even get to filming. You have to get all the extras ready, the main actors ready. They're going over lines. Of course, the main actors get paid more than extras, but <clears throat> then. You got to get in position, then the directors don't like the position, then you have to change your position, then they're cutting some people from the scene, then you start filming, then you have to keep resetting. Resetting means going to the original position, like when you start filming and you're moving around, then if they see something they don't like, they'll call reset and you have to go back to the original set. And then you're in the middle of doing this, then they'll send you guys to lunch. Then you're coming back doing the same shit over and over. It's really a lot. It takes a lot mm -hmm. to be um, 
an actor, actress, but I don't really know if it was like just for fair compensation for just the actors or if it was for the directors and whatever as well. But that's pretty much what it was. They were on strike and they, they just want to be paid yeah, accordingly. They, yeah. And they weren't um, like producing anything like my um, casting apps and stuff that I'm on, like to look up shit. There wasn't nothing coming through for a minute. And then as soon as the strike's over, of course, I'm not a part of SAG yet, but I still get those notifications. Like when those roles that match my description come available, I can still apply for it. So all these things came flooding in and I was like, okay, so the strike's over with. It ended last week, I think. So kudos to them for coming up with some kind of settlement because some of us need to work. Good. I hope so. That's crazy. <clears throat> but yeah, that's pretty much what it was. Actors and actresses and behind the scenes production team, they were getting pretty much underpaid. That's the summarized version of it. Yeah, because I was kind of hearing something about that in the past. And like they were doing like this whole... This isn't the first strike either. There's oh, been multiple. But, then maybe that's what I was kind of seeing. I don't know. I was seeing something somewhere where they were literally like, not even a... It was like almost like a... Um, what do you call it when they assemble and like a riot? No, not a riot. Protest. A protest. Yeah, they were kind of protesting about that. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know. I was seeing something somewhere on the media about it. Yeah, I don't think that the last. This is the first one that I've heard of from SAG. Like SAG's a big deal because they pay a lot for their or they pay decent. Yeah. Um, but I think the other one was just like a writer strike, like certain. Production, they shut down and they weren't doing shit. Yeah. And then, like when you're on strike, you can't really speak on any roles that you have coming up because you're on strike. So you don't know when you're about to get back to work. So you're fighting for equal, equal or better pay, but you still want to get back to work. So nothing's coming in at that moment yeah. unless you have other forms of income. No. You know what they say. Um, I mean, you have to go through that type of struggle first to kind of get what you mm -hmm. want because it, it takes it takes time to fight against shit like that. You know, especially yeah, those big companies and shit like that. <laughs> yeah. But kudos to them for coming out on top. Very proud. Yeah. A lot of other things can take note from stuff like that because there's a lot of things that are just happening in the world nowadays that require. I feel like we should do a lot more protesting on it. You know. Kind of ties into like the whole when police brutality was like a big thing for a yeah, while. Yeah, Black Lives Matter. Yeah, yeah, and then they just started changing. They I feel like social media or the news basically try to divert our attention by doing all this, this, and this. So like the riots died down because people stopped talking about it. And I really feel like that's a sad thing. I feel like the Black Lives Matter movement and COVID came like hand in hand they came at the same time funny how that is i think that i'm not gonna say covid's not real because i mean some of us had it so i just feel like it was still like a distraction i feel like it was a um i low-key feel like it was like a, a a bioengineered um not a disease uh infection or virus that they created to control the population. And they just yeah, put it out there. Bunch of people died off. Yeah, it's funny how it's funny how stuff like that happens and all of a sudden And then you don't hear about it no more. Yeah, no, same thing with COVID. COVID is not as big as an issue. No same more. thing about swine flu. Yeah. Every blue moon blue you hear yeah. about somebody catching it or whatever, but you don't even really hear about the shit anymore. You barely hear about the the flu anymore since COVID came and gone. Yeah, I'm big in it. I'm kind of low key big into uh, conspiracy theories like that. Mm -hmm. How they do stuff like that to us to kind of control the population, and uh, I'm not really big on it, but I do believe there's some truth behind some of it. Yeah, because at the same time they can turn around and and take the take that vaccine and and profit off of it. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like, okay, well, what are y'all really trying to do? Besides, yeah, the vaccine that uh, most jobs require you to get, you to require or you can't work sudden. here, or you yeah. have to wear this hot ass mask all day. Yeah, and then turn around and said, "Okay, never mind." Mm-hmm. 
Once you profit it enough off of it, you don't need it no more. Yeah. Whew, that's a whole lot. Yeah, that's a whole different that's rabbit a whole, hole. That's a whole other rabbit hole. But we're not going to talk about that today because I'm sure a lot of y'all will probably want to hear about that or y'all love those type of rabbit holes. But ooh. but next week, yeah, hopefully next week. we'll talk more about stuff like that. Yeah, we're talking about some world, world events that are going on. So, yep, get your chips, get your popcorn, and buckle up tight because I think next week's going to be a little serious. If everything goes accordingly, next week is going to be a serious topic. So, yeah, I, next thing you know, we're fucking taste, taste testing different pickles and shit. <laughs> Thought y'all said this shit was gonna be serious. Uh, we gotcha, lie. bitch. We lie. <laughs> we lie from time to time. Yeah. So, anyways, that pickle was uh, interesting. It was just mm. they're still in the refrigerator too. Yeah. yeah. The moon shine. Fuck them in the cherries. Every blue moon, I'll go in there and eat a cherry when I want to get fucked up really quick. Yeah. I just go in there and be, one of the times we went out, one of the times we went out, I tried the damn I had I had went in there and just I didn't even try. I knew what the fuck it tasted like. I just went in there and ate the shit and was like, okay, I might be drunk it. in about five minutes. Yeah, cause them bitches be hitting quick and they strong. That and that other thing that that be in my system sometimes. It just, All right. I don't know. Whatever that is. Whatever that thing is. Mm-hmm. But yeah, back to the main topic. Um. Kiki, I feel for you in this situation, but I'm happy you got sole custody of y'all's kid. Darius, grow the fuck up. That's pretty much all I have to say on the subject. You're very insecure, or you seem very insecure. Granted, there's two sides to every story, three sides to every story, but quite frankly, I don't really care about his side of the story. Once you start putting your hands on people, on women, it's just kind of a done deal. Yeah, I agree. I'm about to be like the rest of social media and just call it how I see it. Cause same, I call yeah, it how I, I see, see it all it. the time. I mean, that's yeah. why bitches don't like me. Yeah, especially when you just be trying to say your opinion and then they be trying to treat it like, oh my god, well you can't say that. Okay, shut the fuck up. Then you ain't gotta hear what the fuck I gotta say. We all have an opinion. Yours right. is not more important than mine, and right. I'm going to say mine. And your opinion is that you don't think that I should be saying what I'm gonna say, but I'm bitch. I'm gonna say it anyways. Pretty much. Yeah. All right, well, that wraps up another episode of Triple P and J. If y'all want to tune in next week to see what we got going on, again, don't forget to hit that notification bell button so you can hear when we drop our next episode. Like, comment, subscribe, and download us on uh, all the audio platforms, and we will see y'all next week. Yep, and oh, comment again. Yeah, I know you said it, but comment because I like to see what you guys have to say. It's very like interesting. To, it, it, to be honest, and I blocked the last person that made a ignorant comment, but I kind of should have let them live. I should have let them live because I kind of wanted to see if they were going to say something else in the future, which y'all non watching asses. Because we're boring. Don't be salty. Just watch the show and just comment, I guess. But, like, y'all gotta understand. This is our show. Like, we're just gonna be talking our shit. It's just for, inter- it's just for entertainment purposes. Granted, right. we are still gonna have an opinion. And don't give a fuck about yours. Yeah, don't be so ass hurt behind it. But, anywho, it's gonna be uh, a great time. So, again, once again, time. that wraps up another episode, episode of Triple P&J. We'll see y'all next week. Peace. Peace.